52 Traders, episode 105. You need to develop a system that, that works and that you know works and stick to it. Join Cam every week on the 52 Traders podcast or at 52traders.com to learn how to trade like the pros. This podcast is for educational and entertainment purposes only and is not investment, trading, or financial advice of any kind. What's up, traders? Welcome to another installment of the 52 Traders Podcast. I'm your host, Cam Hawkins, and today we've got Emma Muehlman on the show. Now, Emma is a, uh, I suppose, what do you, how do you classify Emma? Well, she's, she's a bit of a She's a bit of a quant guru, a bit of a hedge fund trader, a bit of a, uh, I suppose, an algorithmic trader, and an all-round market wizard. Really, she's got, she is, in, she's only young, but is studying at Harvard and has an awful lot of experience in this industry, an awful lot of contacts. Works for a hedge fund out in the Cayman Islands. We're going to hear about that in a minute. But before we do, before we get into the show today i want to tell you about a few things that i've been up to in the past few weeks so if you saw my facebook feed the other day you would have seen that i bought my first bitcoin now bitcoin's been around for ages and i did hear about it years ago when the price wasn't at four thousand us dollars for one bitcoin i can't even remember what it was i couldn't actually even get my head around it back then and i did hear about it a mate told me about it at a birthday party a five-year-old's birthday party and he said hey you want to check out this you're into trading you want to check this out this thing called bitcoin you know it's supposed to be going it might go gangbusters and somebody had already made a a million dollars out of it or something anyway long story short i looked into it that week and i couldn't make head nor tail of it whatsoever i had no idea how you get started what you do anything like that i think it was currently trading at around about the hundred dollar mark 150 dollar mark so it's now at what the four thousand three hundred odd dollars at the moment. So I missed the trick there. But anyway, fast forward five, six, seven years, whatever it was, and here I am buying my first Bitcoin. And this is why I didn't buy it in the past, right? So I put my first Bitcoin in a park in the middle of town. It was like some sort of drug deal. I had to sort of turn up, meet a mate who we you know touched phones and, and then walked away from each other and uh, and the transaction was done and I sort of then waited for the thing to kick in on my phone so it sort of got transferred from his phone to my phone I gave him some money to, to do the transfer earlier on and um, it was, yeah so I was like, it was like some sort of drug deal in the middle of a park but anyway I got my first Bitcoin and this whole thing, and the reason I did, and I'll, I'll tell you, I can't say the reason I did until November. So, guys, listen up for the show in, a show in November where I'll reveal why I did buy this Bitcoin in the first place and what I did with it. Okay, so um, and there's possibly an opportunity for you there as well. So, stay tuned for that. Now, what I'm hearing though is a lot of talk around these cryptocurrencies in the past three weeks. I mean, it's literally gone from. Uh, you know very little just you know news here and there and blah 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 and now it just there's so many different things hitting me from different angles i'm starting to see a little pattern here uh that things are starting to hot and uh, to heat up i mean look you know there's over a thousand uh coin types of coins out there at the moment so there's lots of them there's uh you know you've got the bitcoins the main one and then you've got sort of uh, ethereum which is the, like the second sort of runner-up now ripple and all these other bitcoins out there or bitcoin sort of like currencies out there and a lot of people coming on board trying to make the next bitcoin so where do you invest your money what do you invest in and look i mean the reason i'm sort of talking about this at the moment is because i've decided to try and get some crypto current cryptocurrency traders on the show now i've reached out to one of them i've got another one lined up so hopefully i can get a few of these crypto traders on the show to talk to you guys out there about this uh, this electronic currency this blockchain um currency that's going you know it's not going viral it's already gone viral i think but i mean that's it there's only three million people apparently in the world that own bitcoin so there's not that many and i can understand why because it was damn hard to actually get hold of it myself and i got hold of it and i spent it pretty much straight away on the thing i was going to buy and and let's say invest in okay thing i was going to invest in so um yeah so that was the first thing so the second thing that has really sort of piqued my interest is the fact that one of these big, massive, uh, what do you call him? He's like a he's like a sort of internet phenom- phenomenon, or uh, maybe not phenomenon. Sort of more one of these like big profiles on the internet. His name's Ty Lopez. 
I listen to his podcast now and again, and it's, it's got some interesting stuff in there. Um, some people think he's a bit of a scammer, but he's got some really good stuff, and he's definitely not a scammer based on what I've seen and heard and stuff. Anyway, long story short, I just happened to open up his Snapchat feed, uh, showing a mate uh, what what he does and blah, blah, blah. He does a Snapchat, showing the mate. And it's like, oh, he's got a room full of 50 of the world's uh, best experts in cryptocurrency. And why has he got that? I mean, and then I saw an email from him about four days later saying, hey, cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, yada, yada, yada. Uh, there was other people that started ref- referencing it for me as well, uh, re- referencing it to me, sorry, as well. So it's all, it all seems to be culminating. And look, I'm, whether or not it's just me and, you know, i got my first Bitcoin and I start seeing the stuff now. Um, but I think it's something we all need to be aware of. And guys, if you're listening and you're not aware of it, not really sort of thinking of it, this might be an opportunity to get on board something that happens to fly. Who knows? Anyway, that was my spiel about Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies. I'm going to try and get some traders on board on the show in the future to help us understand better how we can get into this game and what we can do if we are in the markets with these currencies. What do they behave like? How do they trade? What are the key triggers? I mean, look, this thing, you know, effectively the market never stops, never sleeps. So what, you know, how do you pick an end, the beginning and an end? What's the sessions look like? All that sort of stuff. So we can dive into that a little bit in the future. But for now, before we get into the preview episodes of this show here, on 52 traders uh, I just want to let you know that I've got a special deal on my automate my trading course this month October 2017 so if you're listening here today there's a special deal you've got an hour with me as part of joining up as a lifetime member so if you do want to join up as a lifetime member this month then you can now with me and basically I can build you a little robot in that hour or a sort of half substantial robot it doesn't take that long for me to do so if you guys are looking to do that or if you just want to have a t- chat to me about the show what goes on here on 52 traders in the background behind the scenes then you know we can have a chat about that doesn't matter um last but not least if you do want to join as a pro member to get the full version of the show all you need to do is jump onto 52traders.com forward slash pro and there'll be a link on your mobile phone in the show description as well to take there quickly all right guys right let's hear from emma muleman and this hour odd long show we've got for you today all right folks so we've got emma muleman on the call here so a works at a hedge fund and based over there in the states flips between san diego and caymans so i guess you're uh, you're feeling pretty lucky that you went in the caymans in the recent week with the the big hurricane that went through absolutely yes did, did you find nice out if out did you find out if um i mean how did the caymans fare do you know i i mean i think they're fine i think at least where our, i know our offices are we have um we're right by over by the ritz in the main main area so i know we didn't have any drop problems yeah, it's funny because um, a friend of mine actually lived there for several years and I remember him telling me the stories of, of when he was hit by a hurricane and it was like three oh, or no. three to six months of trying to repair everything and yeah. washing in the sea and all sorts That's of stuff. Night. It was just a, a disaster. Um, That's a nightmare, yeah. yeah we so had a... We had a, a roof of one of a, a, the comp, a, apartment complexes we own fly off in in Texas when there was a hurricane. That was not good, you know, especially when you have like tenants and stuff. Uh, but it was easy. It was pretty easy fix. Okay, cool. Well, Believe um, it or not. I suppose, look, I've, I've given the guys a bit of an intro about you back before we actually got on the call here. So um, no can, you, can you tell us a bit more about you personally and how you first got into this game? Okay, so... Uh, Personally, uh, I've always been, you know, kind of a numbers person. Uh, I think kind of look at the world in a statistical sort of way. Um, and, and how I got into the, the trading side is while well, I was working, you know, at a hedge fund, did doing, you know, macroeconomic and, and fundamental equity analysis. And I thought, uh, I thought, you know, this whole charting stuff and, 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 you know, momentum trades that I would watch go by and I, where I, I didn't capitalize on them. There's got to be a way to, you know, figure out, see some patterns that, that repeat and figure out a way to capitalize on that. So that's where I started trying to build algorithms that would, you know, consistently outperform. But I, I did so coming from from the background of a professional who knows you never want to lose money. So everything I designed, I always had 
um, a pretty high level of risk aversion, uh, which at times was is good and at times you know you miss out a little bit. But but yeah, that's that's kind of where it all started. It was a puzzle, another puzzle. I wanted to see if I could and, figure out, and I'm still working on it. <laughs> and I suppose I mean I suppose what I really want to know is how you first got into. It. I mean, what what attracted you to attracted you to this industry was it just the fact that you 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 know you were quite skilled in it and got a got a job in a, in a uh-huh. hedge fund or or was it something so, else i mean was it like way back in the day you're always going to be headed down this route so actually it was um the i took a course um, when i was in college at notre dame on options and futures trading and i became obsessed and ever since then i knew i wanted to go into the investment business i knew um I was really excited about, you know, the math that's behind um, derivatives, and the, I, I just thought the the asymmetry and the payoff profile for long options positions is like silly. I mean, a, a lot of people believe in writing strategies where they just write options. To me, that that doesn't make much sense when you look at the payoff profile. Uh, so, yeah, it was ever since I took that options and futures course, it was a real in-depth um, course where you, you got. Uh, it was one challenging thing for me, and I really, really liked it. That's quite interesting, actually. A, a university running a course on options and futures trading. I mean, what was all that about? It was a they. So it was it was with the MBA crowd. I wasn't an MBA student, but I took it as an elective. Um, and so I guess that's I don't know if I guess that's common for MBA. I don't know <laughs> to be honest. Oh, okay. Well, that's well, that's interesting. So, and did they have what professional futures traders uh, or t- teaching you guys there how to were. do this stuff? Or right, folks. Hope you enjoyed the preview of that show there with Emma. Now, if you do want to hear the full version and all the other shows, all you need to do is jump onto fifty two traders dot com. You'll get the first fifty two free. So you'll get the first fifty two episodes free. In actual fact, they'll be in this feed you're listening to now. So you can just sort of scroll back down the feed and you'll find the first fifty two episodes that you can get a feel and get a taster for this show and what I do here on the show. And if you do want to hear the rest of them, then it's four dollars ninety seven. Four dollars ninety seven to get not just the thirty odd, almost forty odd other interviews that I've done with traders around the world. And on top of that, you get all the new ones that get released as well. So guys jump over there and we've also got let's not forget we've got trading mentors match off if you do want to hear that full series where i've got uh three traders who are listeners on the show like yourself who've been taken on board by three of the trading mentors that have been on the show as well and we're seeing if these guys can turn them around in the space of a few months and we're up to about three months now this is our third month we're going into so we've got interviews coming up with uh the three trading mentors and we're going to hear from them in the coming month and then we're going to check in with our traders again and see how they're getting on about a month later and then we'll check in once again at the end of the year so look there's a good solid 21 episodes in the series and uh what's more not just 21 episodes we've also got um not just six traders but actually eight traders because two of them have dropped out one mentor and one trader dropped out, not appearing, but different mentors and different traders, they dropped out. So, guys, if you do want to hear that, forward slash TMM, 52 traders, forward slash TMM, and you'll get access to that show as well. Okay, guys, until next week, don't forget your Bitcoins. See you later. Bye.